How much can you really trust software? Let me introduce you to a most devious hack by a legend of the computer programming world, Mr. Ken Thompson. Ken Thompson is an American pioneer in computing science, as he is the creator of the B programming language, a predecessor of the C programming language. During his Turing Award acceptance speech in 1982, he presented a lecture named Reflections on Trusting Trust. During this lecture, he presented a compiler hack which was so devious that it was given the name the Ken Thompson hack. I will put a link to the acceptance speech in the description below. The hack basically would create a Trojan compiler that would inject backdoor code into the logging application. Now that sounds a bit confusing, so let's unpack that a bit with a brief description of what is a compiler. A compiler is an application which assembles other applications from files containing source code. A computer programmer would write the code into files and feed it into the compiler to generate the output application. This step is known as compiling. The source code is written in a programming language that is understood by the compiler. There are many famous programming languages that are compiled. For example, C, C++, C Sharp and Java. Complex programs can be quite long and convoluted. These kind of programs might have hundreds of thousands or even million lines of source code. It was this level of complexity that Mr. Ken Thompson wanted to exploit when he wrote his seminal hack. The Ken Thompson hack works like this. The hack would insert some backdoor code into a compiler so that every time the login application was compiled, the compiler would insert the same backdoor code into the login application. How he did it was as follows. Such code, backdoor code, in the login application is easy to write. However, it is also easy to find by anyone reading the source code. Ken Thompson came up with a more dastardly way to hide his hack. What he did was to hide the hack in the compiler itself so that anyone reading the source code of the login application would not find the hack. The exact steps to reproduce the hack is as follows. The source code of the compiler is modified and the modification is to inject the backdoor into the login application. The backdoor code would be injected into the login application during compilation. The backdoor code also had a variation in which it would inject itself into other versions of the compiler if the compiler was rebuilt. The compiler source code was then compiled so that a new version of the compiler would be created. The source code was then cleaned up so that the backdoor was removed. This way, anyone reading the source code of the compiler will not find the backdoor the login application would then be compiled. This meant that the backdoor code would get injected into the login application by the compiler. Anyone reading the source code of the login application would not find this backdoor. The only way they could find the backdoor was to 
analyze the binary of the login application to find the offending code. If the compiler was recompiled, the backdoor would get injected into the new instance of the compiler. This meant that even reading the source code of the compiler would not reveal the backdoor. The Ken Thompson hack was so devilish that even reading and rebuilding the source could not prove whether the application could be trusted. There are varying reports on whether these hacked compilers or login applications were ever released into the wild. Generally, it is believed that even though Ken Thompson wrote the application and he proved that the source code did exist, the applications were never compiled and released into the wild. It was basically just a theoretical exercise, but he may have showed it to a few people. The lecture, Reflections of Trusting Trust, a seminal piece of work, is one of the first lectures on computing security. I will put more details of the hack and lecture in the description below. Do have a read and tell me what you think about it in the comments below. As always, if you like what you see and would like to support the channel, give us a like, subscribe and hit that bell icon to be notified of new videos. Until next time, I'm High Voice, signing out.